right, guys, and welcome to uh, Classic World Comedy, Facts and Trivia. Thank you for stopping by. Today's video is on Max Bear Jr., who, of course, played Jethro Bodine. And have you ever wondered what his net worth was? Might be surprised. Beverly Hillbillies helped elevate actor Max Bear Jr.'s net worth, but that's not the only way he's made millions. They proved his abilities in the business even after the Beverly Hillbillies went off the air. Comedy aired on CBS from 62 to 71. Bear began his acting career with guest parts in TV series such as Maverick, Surfside 6, Hawaiian Eye, Cheyenne, The Roaring Twenties, and 77 Sunset Strip. His breakout role came on the Beverly Hillbillies. Jethro was a not-so-smart family member, and his storyline often revolved around his job search. Like many TV stars of the era, Bear found himself typecast once the successful series ended. So he produced, wrote, and starred in his own movie, The Macon County Line, in 74. The low-budget film became a hit. And he followed it with another film, The Wild McCulloch's, which wasn't as successful. He then directed Ode to Billy Joe, based on the song of the same name in a hometown USA. He continued appearing on TV throughout the 80s and 90s. According to Celebrity Net Worth, Max Bear Jr.'s net worth is an estimated $50 million. Bacon County Line earned almost $25 million at the box office more than any movie at the time. Ode to Billy Joe was also financially successful. In 1984, he pursued the film rights to Madonna's hit song, Like a Virgin. He won $2 million when he sued ABC for trying to prevent him from making the movie. In addition, the actor-turned-businessman became involved in other business ventures. According to USA Today, Bear and CBS reached a broad licensing agreement in 1991 that gave the actor rights to develop motel, casino, restaurant, and other properties using the Beverly Hillbilly scene. In 2000, he spoke with Tampa Tribune about his career after the Beverly Hillbillies. Starvation was my motivation, he told the newspaper. I did it for the money, and I did it for the job. I was basically unemployable because all that people knew me was as Jethro. And I realized that if I'm going to work, I'll have to do it myself. And it made sense. Uh, although, I, I, I kind of wonder sometimes, because typecasting uh, just hit certain people. I mean, Carol O'Connor was Archie Bunker, did great in the heat of the night. Buddy Epson with Jed Clampett. And he went on to do uh, Barnaby Jones. Uh, and, and there's several that just did that, and they were very typecast. So it's kind of weird that just certain uh, people, they must be good at that job, you know, that certain specific job in order to be typecast that bad or that much. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. Hope you enjoyed. Just please don't forget to subscribe. Please like this video. Thank you very much. You guys have a great day. God bless you, and I'm praying for you.